All right, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. And in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and give you a rig demonstration of our second character that's going to be in our Bender 2.0 rig. Um, I've done all this stuff off screen because this actually is um, taking me a while to go ahead and create this rig for you guys. Um, it's definitely a very controllable rig, and we have a lot of cool stuff that's actually inside of this rig. Um, but a lot of this stuff is all somewhat similar to the actual rig that we've been creating um, for the general bender. But I'm showing you this because we're going to be tying this into the main bender 2.0 rig. And I want to show you the rig demonstration at least before we go ahead and do that here. So if we take a look at our main controller, we have the ability to scale and move as needed. Okay but we also have a, an animation level, we have a rendering level, and we have a Bite My Shiny mech, uh, Ectoplasmic plasmic Ass level, which is going to be for our um, animation, or whenever we go to render it out. Let's go ahead and turn that back to our animation level here. We also have a drinkable beer, okay, which is scaled to the rig, but it's not actually parented to the rig, and it's done for a reason because, let's say that you have have a scene or if you want to do an animation where he's going to be drinking his beer you have that ability to go ahead and do that okay so let's go ahead and turn that drinkable beer off we also have a smokable cigar which you can you know parent to the rig or or do whatever you want and you can see that it's not actually parented to the global control except for in the scale constraint and that's so that you know, you can basically animate that cigar as you want. So let's go ahead here and turn this off. Jump up here to our second control level. We have a rotate X, Y, and Z channel so that you can do whatever you want with that tail. But you also have a tail wiggle control. So if he's obviously dead and floating around, you can animate that tail as you want. Okay, let's jump up to the third one here. Let's go ahead and we obviously have the, the control to go ahead and open our door here. But you also have a control to go ahead and turn on your inside beers. Um, then you also have a control to go ahead and smooth out that ectoplasmic beer. You also have the ability to go ahead and spin your head as you want. Okay, let's turn the inside beer off here. The extra head here um, is so that you can actually detach that head. If you have a, a control where you want to go ahead and detach that head and, and um, let's say drink a beer, let's go ahead and turn this uh, original head off, bring in the extra head here. Okay. You also have the ability here to talk on the extra head as well as use that extra head to be your beer drinking control so we can open our teeth and drink a beer. Okay. Our eye controls also have the constraints. You can also blink single eyes. So if you just want to blink your right eye or your left eye, you can go ahead and do that. Just the left, um, or the eye tops, the eyelid bottoms, both go do it and do it alone. Both eye tops, both eye bottoms, the anger top, you, you also have the control to go ahead and zoom both eyes, or individually, as you can see here. And if we come in here and just turn on our blink real quick. We also have the ability to rotate our eyelid. And for both of them. Okay. And the eyes will either follow the world, which means that it's basically going to be a free eye connection. So if we go ahead and move our head. Oops. Go ahead and move our head. It's locked. And if we go ahead and turn this off which means that it's independent. It's now going to not follow the head, 
nor will it actually follow the rig. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this back here. And go ahead and relock our eyes control. So it'll either follow the head, the world, or the body. Okay. go ahead and close our door and now we're going to go ahead here and take a look at our arms so we have a, a pretty standard arm where you can basically do whatever you want and we also have a pull vector constraint here for our arm okay but we also have the ability to have our fingers moving if you can take a look here and in the z-axis and that'll do it for all three of those fingers but, but we also have a stretchy arm control so if you go ahead and turn that on you can stretch out your arm to like the middle of next week and stuff <laughs> and that also scales uniformly with the rig so um, obviously you can see that there's a, a ton of ton of control inside of this rig and this rig is going to get tied into the actual bender 2.0 character rig which um, for one is is if you ask me it's a it's a pretty pretty good rig so um, I hope you guys have enjoyed at least taking a look at our demonstration for the the ghost rig here and um, thanks for watching